Hey and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna knit ear warmers with this braid. Remember to subscribe to our channel to get more free knitting patterns. In the text to the YouTube video, you can see the measurements of the different sizes. We have a small, a medium and a large. So we're going to cast on our stitches and in the top box, you can see how many stitches you need to cast on. The number of stitches is the wideness of the ear warmer. So we have a narrow version and we have a wide version, depending on what you like to make. This ear warmer is knitted in a plain knit. That means the first needle we're gonna do is with a knit. And then when you turn and do the second needle, you're gonna do purl. This way we can have a flat knit. So in the future, we can do some uh, cool uh, models with uh, different kinds of uh, colors. Cause plain knit is very nice to do colors on. We did all our rows and we are about to split our project up in three. The narrow version is 21 stitches, so that's 777. Uh, the wide version is 30 stitches, so that's 10, 10, 10 stitches. You have to divide your project in three. So first we're going to knit in the first seven stitches like we did here. In the top box, you can see how many rows you need to do on these seven stitches. We did our first seven uh, stitches and knitted a good amount of rows. We need to break the yarn. And for this, this time I decided to put my stitches onto the, a kill pin and just leave them until we're done with the rest. Now we are ready to knit in the next seven stitches. We 
when you do a flat knit, it tends to roll in like it does here. Um, I like it when we need to do the braid. I like the 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 knitting to be curled up, but you can uh, iron it and then you can have a whole different feel to the the project. So just like the last time, you can see in the top box how many rows you have to do for the middle part. And now we have knitted our rows to the middle part of our braid. We need to do the last seven stitches and then knit the rows just like we did on the first and the second part. So it's time to break the yarn on the final strap and then we're going to braid our ear warmer. So we're about to do the braid part on our ear warmers. If you like the way I braided the ear warmer, look carefully at how i'm braiding now but if you do your own kind of braid that can be cool as well i'm not sure this is the best version but i'm sure you can do a super cool version on your own So we braided in the the front part of the ear warmer and now we have to knit the three straps together in in um, in one needle.
So we have all our stitches back on one needle again. And we need to do the final part in the top box. You can see how many rows is just the same as you started. So we did everything and we're about to cast off our stitches. You're going to knit two stitches onto your needle. And then when you have those two, you take the back stitch over the first stitch and over your needle. Then knit one more. Do exactly the same and do this all the way until you have two stitch stitches left on your needle. We have two stitches left on our needle and we're just about to do the final thing with our cast off. So you knit the last stitch over to the needle and then you take the back one over your first stitch, over your needle, and then you break the yarn. And then you pull the rest of your, the yarn through to the stitch. And then you cast off your stitches. So we need to sew our back together. And if you want to do a flat version, you have to do the inner loops. So there is an outer loop and the inner loop on both sides. And if you want to do a flat seam, you need to do the inner loops and sew them together. If you don't care how it's going to be, you can just sew it into both loops if you want. Do remember to sew in the loose ends so your knitting's not going anywhere. So we're done with the ear warmer. I like to iron the last part so it looks flat, but if you like the rounded part, you can just leave it. Thank you so much for knitting with us. I do hope you're going to knit a new project with us anytime soon. Thank you so much for watching.